Let's have a look here at finding the gradient and using the gradient intercept method to draw graphs. So as you can see from the picture, this involves finding our gradient, using the gradient definition and our y-intercept to help us. So we've got this graph here, y equals negative half x take away 3. So there's three steps. The first step is to draw the y-intercept. So a little reminder, general equation of every straight line, y equals mx plus c. The value of c is your um, y-intercept. And the value of x is your gradient. So the number by itself is the y-intercept, the number in front of x is the gradient. So in this case, we have a y-intercept of negative 3. Okay, so that that's, um, let me that. So the value of c is negative 3. So that tells me it cuts the y-axis at negative 3. So I'm going to draw that coordinate point right there. Now we want to look at our gradient. So our gradient is the number in front of x. So in this case, the gradient is negative a half. Now a reminder for you, gradient rise over run. So what we want to do is from that coordinate point that we've already drawn the graph, so from that, that blue cross, we want to rise up by negative 1, which means going down. So I'm going to go down by 1, and I'm going to go across by 2. And that's going to take me to the next coordinate point. I'm going to repeat this a few times. Go down 1 and across 2. There's my next coordinate point. Down 1, across 2. And hopefully now you can start to see that pattern forming. And the, all we need to do now is draw a line through those points. And there's our graph.